Hello! Today, we're gonna try out a shell challenge. And we're gonna try out Lil Sims's shell challenge. And I don't think I'm prepared for this at all. So, um, let's go. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's search up Lil Simsy. There she is. And I'm just gonna pick her latest shell challenge, alright? I haven't seen it. I probably should have <laughs> taken a little look at it before I began filming this. But, um, I just hope it's not bad. All right, so here it is. A shark shell challenge. What does that mean? <laughs> okay. Description. Download this lot and turn it into anything you want. The only rule is that you can't change any of the existing walls. My exterior walls must remain. But you can add interior walls, a floor plan, half wall fences, roofs, patios, platforms, etc. You can move, rotate the lot, literally anything goes, just don't change my walls. Okay, I don't know why I named it after a shark. Well, that's what I was kind of worried about. I thought it had to be a shark. I really thought it had to be a shark, but I'm glad it's not. But let's um place the lot. Yikes. Okay, the first thing that I can see here is this diagonal room. I hate diagonal rooms so much. I, I hate them with a passion because everything you do with a diagonal room is just wrong. The roofs, the fences, everything is just a big old mess. But uh, that's um, something. Let's see about the rest of the shell. The roofing is going to be interesting. That it is going to be. Yeah, that was a hefty shell, I gotta say. I mean, this bit feels like a little sunroom. It has a sunroom vibe. Kind of does look like something they built on afterwards, you know? They had a little renovation and they put on that little box. Right. <gasps> Maybe this whole can be like a vacation home, you know? Why am I getting vacation home vibes from this? I don't know why, but I do, I do get the vibes. So maybe you can go for something in that way. Maybe. All right, let's just start with the roofing, shall we? I hate roofing stuff. Right, let's begin with the gabled roof, like so. Very nice. Oh, by the way, I found this out like a few days ago. And I normally don't give out tips because I literally know nothing. But in case you didn't know, because I didn't know, if you hold down the alt button and then you press that little arrow on the roof, you can get the much smoother up and down seas than if you would just use without the alt key. So you can like get the perfect amount you want, like so. Oh, it still looks weird. See, that this is why I'm not giving out tips, because uh, <laughs> it goes wrong either way, you know? There you go. Hope you learned something from that tip. Right, and what are we going to do here then? How about one of these roofs? <gasps> what if I connect these two roofs? Is that going to look funky? Is that funky? Are we in funky town or not? Oh, not anymore. I mean, yeah, that can work for now. Now this roof. Oh, but jeebus me. This diagonal roof, right? Uh, I got to take a sip of coffee first. Wonderful. I think the most important part is just to cover everything up. What if I start off with this? Oh, but that... Ah, I see. I have this little part there. What about this? Then I take this all the way out there. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm gonna take this in then. And then I get another piece. No, not like that. Oh my gosh, this is going... <laughs> I'm gonna take this piece. No, not like that. I like so. Don't you worry. I'm... <laughs> or actually, why am I saying don't you worry? You should worry right now because this is... Oh, no. I mean, that's the best I can do, really. What if you take another roof pattern and just do like so? Oh, that's looking horrible, isn't it? At least we have a roof, okay? That's what we should be happy for right now, that we have a roof. You cannot complain anymore. We have a roof. Ta-ta! Right, now we're back here. I'm just gonna put in a random wallpaper just so I don't get thrown off by the concrete wall. Like so. I don't know if I made anything better about that. I don't think so. <gasps> I can finally use my greenhouse haven windows. Oh, oh, that is cool. It has little netting. I would love to have some netting windows. I'm so tired of mosquitoes. I hate them. Let's put them on. A little sunroom. It kind of looks like a little chicken coop. <laughs> now that I see it <laughs> with the netting and stuff. Uh, but whatever. It's a sunroom. Wait a minute. I can have some of them like that. Which windows do you want to be open? Maybe this one can be open. Actually, it wouldn't really make sense to have a window open since it's just netting. You're just gonna let the mosquitoes in. But I think it's good for the ambiance. <laughs> Maybe they want some mosquitoes in their house, but not all of them, you know? I don't know. Now the most important thing we gotta do is put some doors and windows in. So I'm just gonna put in that door. And Maybe we can try with the window here. Maybe. It kind of looks like a little face, but <laughs> gonna move past that. Or do I want the door here or do I want it here? Yes, I feel like the door here is gonna be the most obvious choice. And do I want to be obvious? No, I'm gonna put it here. What am I supposed to do with this by the way just put in some columns maybe oh 
Oh, I can have a little flower bed moment in here. Because I have just made that room. Not room, it's a roof. I could put in roofs. It's not a wall, it's not room. But I made it a lot bigger. So did I make the problem bigger for myself or not? Who knows? <laughs> so now for the very, very scary task. We are going to do the layout of this house. Right. Oh no, this is scary. Okay, this can be the kitchen. And this can be the dining room. Because the kitchen needs to connect to the dining room. Otherwise, it would just be crazy. Absolutely insane. This can be like a small bathroom. Like a powder room. Is that what it's called? You know, just a sink and a toilet. And um, what can this be? A laundry room. Yeah, that can be there. And upstairs. Oh, shoot. What am I going to do for upstairs? Okay, this is a vacation home. That's what I've made up in my mind. This is a vacation home. So we need a lot of bedrooms. Okay, so this right here can be the master bedroom. So we can have like an ensuite moment in here. We need one more bathroom though that we need. So maybe I can squeeze a bathroom in here. What if I do it like so? We can have a long ass bathroom in there. And then bedroom and then right here. We can have another bedroom like so. That's gonna be a weird bedroom but whatever. All right, we have a layout plan, I think, I believe. So here's the entryway hallway. It's the kitchen, dining room, living room, bathroom, a laundry room. Upstairs, we have another hallway, a bathroom, a bedroom, a bedroom, master bedroom, and an ensuite bathroom. Back to the outside. I know I'm all over the place, by the way, but this is how I work. <laughs> Let's change the wallpaper of the house, because that's disturbing me. Disturbia. I want some wood, at least. Maybe I kind of like this wood. It gives me the family vacation vibes. I don't know why, but it does. Then we need a little pop of color. What can we go for? Oh, maybe yellow. Since it's a vacation home. Yellow vacation. Yeah, I like that. <gasps> I just had an idea. I just had an idea. What if I make... Oh, oh I, I can't contain my emotions. What if I make a little lake around it and then this can be like on stilts? So it's like a water stilt house. That made absolutely no sense. But oh my gosh, I'm going to do that. Oh no, this is so scary. I don't know how to do this. Right, uh, lower terrain. Oh, that looks like a big old crater to me. <laughs> yeah, what if I flatten to height maybe? Like so. So, is that too much? <laughs> I'm just gonna see how it looks with water in it. That looks like a pool. That doesn't look like a pond, that looks like a pool. It really does look like they just put their house in a big ass pool. It doesn't look natural at all. Hold on, okay, I, I gotta fix this. Alright, so welcome back. <laughs> As you can see, I've done a little terraforming. It looks a lot better now. That it does. It looks a lot smoother and cooler. Woo! I also remembered that you can't put a platform right onto the end of the lot. So I had to have a, like a little dirt patch right there. But we need a little, little patio out here though. And then we need some fences. I'm just gonna put in some test fences. I love me some test fences. And then just some test flooring. I think the only giveaway you're gonna have from this video is just test. Just test. And then we have this diagonal the room um i don't oh, I can try with this oh no we have this part what am i going to do with that part that's going to be difficult wait what if i go like this yes then i go like this then i go like so no you see no this is why i hate diagonal rooms because look it doesn't connect up are you kidding me do i have to go like this then okay well that's nice that's good can i do the same on the other part then to match it all up I can't. No. Oh, no. Because this is just one tile. But if I do it the same here, it's going to be two tiles. And that's just looking ridiculous. Okay. So I guess it's just going to be like that then. Wonderful. Okay. Well, let's do some gardening works. Because now it's looking kind of weird. Right. Okay. So we need some trees. Maybe some rocks. Well, they don't have their house on stilts. And we have our house on stilts. So we're already up in points with that. What about a water house? I don't know if this was better. I mean, this is definitely not helping at all. <laughs> what is that? What is going on here? Okay. So, yeah. Trees and rocks. That's what I would have guessed. I didn't need to search that up. Oh, it's a little dog on the dock. Right, let's go back to what I was actually doing. So, what did we learn from that little Google trip? We learned that we need some trees and we need some rocks and some, some little bushes. I don't know. Let's find out. I mean, let's go decorating. I'm gonna start up with some rocks. Oh, that's big. Okay, this is gonna take a little, really long time. I'm gonna get back to you guys when I put in the rocks because nobody wants to sit here and look at me decorate with the rocks for an hour. I know that I'm not filming right now because I cannot be bothered to get up from my chair and turn on the camera. Because I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. So here's the rocks I put in. It was a nightmare. I just gotta say it, it was a nightmare. Because the rocks doesn't like to follow the rules. The rules of the sea level, you know? But this is how it's going. And now I'm gonna put in some grass to hide up the rocks and maybe some trees. Thank you, that was my update. Now I'm gonna go back, back to the rocks again. 
right welcome back it's only been a few seconds for you but it's been like an hour or so for me <laughs> so this is it this is a little overview wow wow well, well, here's my little forest i mean i'm proud of that i'm pretty pretty happy like look at this this is a tiny little forest i mean wow 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 oh the house is looking really bad now that it does well what i do know is that i want a little a little sun bed in here some little plants so this piece gets a reason you know it gets a purpose in life so what do i do oh no i gotta do it i haven't even told you my plan this is probably gonna ruin everything i'm gonna save my game first but if i make a little fancy in moment like so can i raise it up <gasps> i can what if i put in a little half wall little half wall then i can put some plants in there yummy plants but yeah that one fits i can have that so now this part gets a little bit of a purpose you know yeah because i'm thinking right on the deck we're gonna have a little sitting area with an umbrella maybe that one also just gonna get a little front door carpet is there a cool swatch i mean not really okay before i forget let's do some inside work okay right so this was going to be the kitchen Ooh, what do we want to go for i'm thinking of something cabin like but not like traditional cabin like maybe something more modern like it's still cabin like so what is that i mean i do kind of like these though that i do let's try with that okay i do not want the kitchen to go all the way over there because that's a really long kitchen so what if i do a little peninsula moment over there yeah okay yeah something like that i think that would be nice and a little stove too what stove do we want i mean i think i gotta go with the matching ones because they do look matchy matchy i <laughs> mean of course Nora. it would be weird it would be so weird if the matching fridge and stove wasn't matchy matchy you know what am i on about oh fancy 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 town i gotta take these windows down okay so my plan is to just put in all the furniture that i need in each room and then i can come back and decorate them all right that's me plan or else i'm gonna get overwhelmed that i am okay so the living room what am i gonna do for the living room wallpaper does parenthood have a wallpaper that matches that wood oh, i think it does does that oh, that matches but is that kind of boring we'll spice it up with some pictures all right then i can use this table i love that table no i think this is too modern what about this one this kind of matches the wood that's in the kitchen yeah yeah okay now for the bathroom my lovely lovely bathroom Ooh, maybe i can go for like a little woodsy moment that one then i can have a sink and a toilet good and the mirror very nice right we have all the furniture we need in there let's move on to the next room promise i'm gonna decorate in the end what's gonna be in here oh a laundry room that's right okay it's kind of annoying that the dryer is clipping into the window that is annoying i mean i can't just make all the windows like that that i can it looks kind of weird but i'm gonna hide that up with some bushes don't you worry gotta hide it up with some bushes gotta be okay <laughs> and then we need some counters i guess we can use the same counters as in the kitchen because that would make sense maybe they got the counters from the same place you know and then we need hamper just two of those in there yeah that can work right now for this room i'm just gonna put in some test furniture there's apparently a lot of testing today today in this room so i think if i have a couch here and oh, i hate diagonal rooms couch here then I can have some sort of tape, no, some sort of table there. And oh, this is a big room. What if I have some sort of bar there? Then there's going to be like a lot of dead space here. Because I can't really put that much here because it's a walkway. What if we put up some bookshelves? Would that be something? <gasps> I can use my book in the kit. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Cool and fresh and fun. And then we can have some sort of chair here with like a table. Yeah. But it still leaves a lot of dead space though. What does Elnora supposed to do? What? 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 what if i take a wall what do i do with that wall interesting i can do that i can slice the room in two yeah that makes it a lot better i think i hope i've got all the essential furniture that i need down here i do think so let's put in all the essential furniture up here shall we let's begin with the master bedroom we can have like a bed here like so what can we have over here maybe hmm just like a mirror maybe then we can have some sort of chair here yeah in the bathroom in the ensuite what can we have here okay i know you're not supposed to put the toilet like right in front of the door because that's uh yikesy but what else is anora supposed to do just put it here i mean i could also do that why did i do that and for this bedroom well since this is like a vacation home you need a lot of beds because you have no idea how many people is gonna live here you have no idea how many kids these two sims have you know there could be a ton so i'm gonna place a bed there and i'm gonna place a bed there and then we can have some sort of dresser there and then this bedroom can have a bunk bed moment in here maybe a toddler bed too actually we don't know if they have <laughs> a toddler with them who knows oh maybe they should have a crib can we fit a crib in here no not really ah they're not gonna bring the baby with them anyways that's gonna stay at home then we can have some sort of desk right here and then i'm thinking of putting a little half wall oh that's a tight squeeze isn't it they can get past that it's
it's okay. Because then they will get like a little separation from the toddler, you know? And they need that. They do not like the toddler. They hate that they have to share the room with the toddler, okay? They do. And then they can have the little dresser there. Yeah. Oh, we have the bathroom left, right? I can have some sinks just right here, maybe. That's clipping into the window. Beautiful. And then we can have a toilet in here, maybe? And then a shower. I think we got down all the, <laughs> all the testing furniture. The planning furniture out, I do believe. Mm-hmm. All right, let's start with this room, shall we? Why not? What kind of couch do we want? We need a nice couch. Oh, I do love the book nook kit. Oh, I love that couch. I really do. Let's use that couch. I like that. Big army couches. Oh, that's annoying. So I was thinking of having like a little raised platform here so we can put like some little plants and nicky knacks on to fill in the space. But it's on a diagonal, so that doesn't work, does it? <laughs> There's a fly in here. Well, whatever. <laughs> or what if? Okay, I'm gonna try something first. And I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to use these couches. Oh, these couches are so annoying in diagonal rooms. Oh, frick, frack me. I have to place them all in manually. Because they're not snapping to each other. No, that's looking strange. It was an attempt. I think it would have worked if it wasn't a diagonal room. But that's the challenge. Okay, I'm just gonna do this instead. Now for the table. Does the book new kid have a good table? Oh, do kind of like that. Yeah. I know, Miss Stilts. Miss Stilts are gone. Right, for the bar. We need a better bar. And I can use that bar. Then maybe I can make a little bar corner. Maybe. I mean, yeah, something something of that sort, maybe. It is doing the weird glitching thing that happens with diagonal rooms. But uh, what can I do about that? Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I'm gonna put in a door here. Like so, maybe. So, you know, they can keep this place hot and warm. And the rest of the house cool with that door. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to close it but people are gonna be mad let's move on to the master bedroom all right i wasn't really supposed to use this bed but now i kind of like it you know right so i put in all the essential furniture that we need in the bedroom and i've also changed up the bathroom just a little bit i've squeezed in the door yeah and i think that works a lot better i mean if you thought that finding a wood swatch that matches try finding a blue floor that matches with the blue mirror i <laughs> It's nearly impossible. I'll tell you, it's nearly impossible. Ooh, is there a blue sink? Because that would have been awesome. No, that was too much to ask for. A blue sink. Now I'm going to do this bathroom. But if I have the sinks here, then I can have the shower there. Or I can have a shower tub combo in there that i can do like that does that work yeah that can work that totally works all right i'm gonna do that instead but i am gonna squeeze it into the wall like so yes then i'm gonna get me own shower walls beautiful <laughs> all right now for the kids bedrooms i think i'm gonna start off with this room first because it's less daunting you know now what do i want i can go for this that bed or am i am i gonna go for the bed yeah i think i'm gonna go for that bed because they are matching but they also have a different bedspread like so yeah i'm into that and then then my happiness disappeared. What if I put the bed like so? And then one of them can get a nightstand at least. Ooh, what about the bed from university pack? Where is that bed? Give me that bed. No, the high school years pack, I mean. Not the university pack. This one, that's cool. But you know, it's okay that they have the same bedding because, um, find a reason or find a reason. What was the reason? Because it's a family vacation home, you know? It makes sense to have the same bedding. Yeah, it does in my mind. So it must be okay. Okay, I put in all the essential furniture. Now I'm gonna move in here. Oof, this room. Right. Ooh, that's kind of funky. I like that. I've never used that one before, so I want to use it now. Okay, that one's super cute, though. I think maybe I'm gonna go for that. Yeah, I've made my decision. I'm gonna go for that. Oh, and then the toddler bed. Right. Now, I really wanted the bed to be here, but that's gonna be a problem with the window, so I think I'm gonna put it there. Yeah, that's okay. Right, so I put in all the essentials in the bedroom, and now I can move on to the patio. Or, no, it's not a patio. It's a deck. Bad that it is. It's a deck. I mean, I can have a little real moment. If I had encounters of matches with this, that's so annoying. I don't know if it's in another pack, but I do not have that pack that matches with this, and uh, it's freak freak annoying. Okay, so Sims has made their own little room right here. So what are they using? They're just using these. I see. Okay, maybe I'll do the same then. Maybe I'll do the same. I can go for the white one. That's kind of nice. Oh, I hate diagonal rooms. Nothing clips together. Okay, what if... Oh, no. Okay, what if you go there? You know what? No, on the other hand, no, not on the other hand. No, on the other hand. And uh, no, wait. On the half hand. Gonna keep you. I'm also just gonna keep that. Because I do kind of like it. Right, what if I find a counter that kind of matches, but not really?
really. Oh, I don't know why I got so excited about that. Oh, that one. That one kind of fits. Yeah, I do like that. Okay, you can get away now. I'm getting angry. <gasps> peaceful. Peaceful, not peaceful. Oh, it doesn't line up. All right, can you please line up to each other? Oh, it doesn't. So I gotta do it myself then. All right, it's lining up. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna have a bar in here. It kind of ruins the mood and it kind of looks weird having a bar here and then <laughs> like a kitchen stuff out here. It looks too symmetrical, so I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Bye. But I am gonna have a bar out of here. That I am. I do not know where the accent came from. It just, it spat it out of me. Right, can I find the matching one before I pass out? Are you kidding me? None of them have the same top as that top. Guess it has to be like that. Right, why are you here? Did I put you out? Oh, oh no. No, it isn't really lining up. But whatever. Can't live in fear anymore. Hmm, that is a bit of a squeeze though. Should have a two tile, but that, that doesn't work with the door. <sighs> I gotta flip it. Let's flip everything. And I gotta do this all over again. <laughs> oh. I mean, the hard part is that I have to do the lining of things manually. And that's what grinds my gears. Wait, I don't remember how I had it. How did I have it? Like so. Okay. Ah, it worked with me. Oh. <laughs> Nora, Nora, Nora. I have to put the counter in right. There we go. Now, if this doesn't look good, I'm gonna scream. I'm actually gonna scream. You're gonna see me scream. Ah! Just like that. Ah. That looks weird. Uh, gotta improvise. Improvise, Nora. I'm improvising. There we go. That looks weird. It really does. No, I think I gotta go back. Okay, I, I'm just gonna go for that right now. It's okay, Nora. It's okay. Don't cry. No, woman, not cry. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm done with that. Can we get a little pool ladder in here? Or is that just for Sulani? Or not like a pool ladder, but you know those they have in Sulani. You know what I mean. Where are they? Where are they? Come on, come on, whatever you are. Oh, yeah, I can't have that. Can only be placed on a water lot. But I am on a water lot. Don't you see all the water I have around here? Uh, what if I use one of these? Can that work? Come on, I know you want to. I know you want to work. No. What about the debug ladder? Are you kidding me? Sims for how to get dark ladder. Higgehaven. I refuse to listen to somebody who's called Higge. Cats and dogs. Just debug. Where are thou? Okay, I guess I gotta listen to Higge. Ladder. My game freaking crashed. It actually crashed. Oh my. I knew I shouldn't have listened to that freaking Higa. I knew it. Look what happened. No, I didn't save. I gotta do that freaking dark kitchen all over again. Are you kidding me? You know, am I even filming right now? It's been a long while. If it. I swear to God, if the camera has stopped filming without me knowing, that's the last draw. That's the freaking, that's the last draw. All right, the camera was filming at least. That's good. Wait, what? Um, what? Yeah, that's good. The kitchen is still here and everything else is here. But I know for a fact that I did not save. Last time I saved, I was in this bedroom. What? That's so confusing. Well, thank you to whoever who did that. Thank you. Okay, let's do the ladders again. Ladder by Marlin Designs. I think Marlin is Swedish. I do think so. Wow. So it's either between Hygge or a Swedish person. I don't know which is worse. I guess I'm gonna go for the Swedish person. <laughs> that does not look the best, does it? What if I try something else? I mean, maybe this one is better for us. Yeah. <laughs> you got to go, me ladder friend. Be free. Bye. Oh, that's perfect, actually, because that means that this corner has a purpose for being so weird. Oh, I'm a genius. I'm gonna get a little pool float in here. Where did it go? Where is it? It disappeared. <laughs> And then out here, I can get some sun loungers. I'm gonna get the matching ones because I've been put through too much stress today. Okay, I'm not gonna use the matching ones. I don't like them. What about these? No, these. Or should I have a dining table? Is that more appropriate? What? This isn't a dining table chair. Are you kidding me? Well, okay, these look exactly the same. Oh, then I'm gonna use that <laughs> in a different color though. Now the table doesn't match. Well, perfect. I guess I can use that. Well, then I gotta change the chairs again. And you can, no, you can move again. I can just go with that table. All right, perfect. Well, it isn't perfect, but you get my gist. Now all I gotta do is decorate this place. That I have to do. Oh, the remnants of the ladder is here. Go by. No, first of all, I'm gonna continue this little dock. Mm -hmm. I've continued the dock. Well, hello, hello. It's the next day. Yes, this house has taken me two whole days to build. And the decoration process just took such a long time, so I decided to make a little stop motion for you guys instead of like showing you bit by bit and all of that, because otherwise this video would be like three hours was long or something i don't know it took a long time it took a really long time there's a reason why i'm not showing my face on camera right now because i i look horrible i've been decorating all day in the sims in the sims mind you in the sims like literally this build had made me cancel plans with my friends like <laughs> like literally i had to say to my friends i can't hang out with you today because 
I need to finish decorating my house, my vacation house in The Sims. Um, so they're kind of worried about me, I must say, they are. But uh, hey ho, you also might have noticed that this lot is a lot bigger now. That's because I moved the lot to a 64 by 64 lot so I can make a much better forest, alright? It's a big old forest now and it also has a little cult ring. I don't know what you shall call that. Something in the forest because at that point I had lost my mind completely. <laughs> so yeah, this is the result of the house. Wow, wow, wow. And I'm sorry that the filming of the result of the house is shit, okay? <laughs> it's not good because at that point my computer had completely left the building all right it had left the building it didn't want to deal with me anymore so the camera functions didn't really work so i had to do it manually and i i'm not a cameraman i'm not a man at all out of my blah, blah, blah. so um yeah that that was it so the last thing we have to do is to upload this house to the gallery and what should we what should we call this house it's a lake house lake house something i don't know what should the description be some may call it a lake house some may call it a water stilt house but it is definitely not a shark hashtag shark challenge sure i'm gonna write that send it off is there more to say thank you for watching my video i hope you like this build i really like this build it turned out amazing i feel like even though it took my whole soul and sanity with it i do like it so um thank you so much for watching and um don't forget to like subscribe because it really does help me out so um thank you but only if you want to only if you want to and um i will see you guys next time goodbye